Welcome to my channel, Connection of Lives and Interests. This is Sharon coming to you from the cabin on a hashtag Tea Tuesday video share with you and hashtag story time with Sharon. I'm trying to get you to be able to see Mr. Thumbs Up over there. Hold on. I can do it. Yeah, there he is working on me, y'all. He's doing one of his favorite things, tearing up the ground, getting rid of tree roots. And I film out here so much now, I'm keeping my um, camera holder. I never use this light. I unbox this and I showed that I didn't care for this light. But the holder, which I can share with you now, it clips nicely onto any table. See? I love it. And then these do twisty turny bends. And this has a claw. This is what I use for filming when I'm not hands free. Yep. Okay, so let's go over here now that we saw Mr. Thumbs Up and sit on the couch. Look out the window. That's our view. Pretty soon it will be greenery. I can't wait. So. I did think I was going to have a story to share, but you know, I always have stories. I just didn't know what it was going to be. So, this is about us selling our love seat and having it on this thing we call the Next Door app. And if y'all don't know about that app, I'll share that with you in another video. But it's an app that tells you all about the ins and outs of what's going on in the area and um, finding people to fix things and do things, places, ref you know, referrals to businesses and what's going on in the area, all that stuff. So comment below if you want to learn more about the next door app and I'll do a video. Okay, so had the love seat on the um, next door app for quite a while. And it's only $70. It's in good shape. And nobody was buying it. And I figured, well, it's, you know, I, I sent all the pictures and everything. And I told Mr. Thumbs Up, I said, well, if it doesn't sell, then I feel like we need to donate it to a uh, veterans program in the area that I found. Well, I never got around to calling, of course, me being a procrastinator. Hi, procrastinators. I love y'all. <laughs> um, so, but it was meant to be, okay? And everything works out the way it's supposed to be. If you really think about it, God's directing everything. And although the VA is a great organization, sometimes there's other plans in the works that God has. And God knows how I am, social butterfly. So this lady messaged me and gave me her number and then um, we called and she didn't answer and left him her a message with our phone number. And then how many of you ladies can agree that you are pretty much readily to answer the phone at some point or another, whether you're doing things around the house or whatever, but never fails when you go into the bathroom <laughs> are y'all laughing i'm telling you somebody's got cameras on me i go into the bathroom and no sooner <laughs> i get in there and the phone rings and i'm like oh my gosh and i mean it was like two o'clock in the afternoon i've been by the phone ready to talk answer whatever the whole time and then the phone rings. I'm like, oh my goodness, watch it be that lady for the love seat. Sure enough, I come out and there's a message blinking on the machine. I'm like, oh my goodness. So I called her <laughs> and me being me, um, I could just tell that she was a, a cool lady. And um, I told her, I said, never fails. I'm always ready to answer the phone, whatever I'm doing, pretty much. And then I go in the bathroom. Yes, I did. I said it to a stranger. <laughs> and um, she laughed and she understood and stuff. And um, 
but before I had said that, we did talk a little bit. So, you know, she was talking about how um, she definitely wants to love C and she needs her grandkids to help her out because, you know, she has arthritis and, and she's only 4'10 and all this. And I was like, oh my gosh, I said, you're like my sister. She's little too. And um, then... I don't know. There was a few things. I can't remember the other thing, but, um, so we probably talked for a half hour at least. And, um, very sweet lady. She's in her seventies and she gave me the full story of, um, her husband passing away a year ago this past Christmas, the day after Christmas. And, uh, He's younger than her, so she thought she was going to go first. And um, I I told her, I said, you know, my family and friends, anybody that knows me knows that I've put in an order with God a long time ago, and I keep reminding him that, you know, I'm going to break the cycle, and it's ladies before gentlemen, so I'm going first. And she said, I was always telling my husband that, and um, she really thought that, you know, he was younger and she didn't have to, he was younger, so she didn't have to worry about it. But then he ended up in the hospital for something. Um, I didn't have my hearing aids in, so I didn't hear every single word. So I got my hearing aids so I could hear everything. But I forget what, or I didn't hear exactly what he went into the hospital for. But when he came out, um, you know, he got COVID in the hospital. And then she got it and he passed from complications of that you know at her home and uh ems was called family was called and they put him in an ambulance and she saw the life leave him in her house and stuff so as many of you that have been through this loss uh you know several several women and i told her i said since we've moved here three years ago is it going on four it is yeah. Oh, it's going on four this next August. So we're still in the three. But um, I know so many women that have lost their husbands that, that it's just... Did you hear that? That's Mr. Thumbs Up. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, um, made a noise because he got up or something, you know, when you're older and you make noise when you move and it's like... Ah. I don't know if you heard it until I get off here, but I have the door open, which I normally just have the bottom open because it's um, a Dutch door. And um, so I just want to say that God worked it out so that I would meet this lady on the phone because she really needed a friend. She's very lonely. She used to be gone all the time with her husband, traveling, being on a motorcycle. Barbara, I'm going to be talking to you. Um, and just go, 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 go. And she would really like to meet up with some ladies that are her age. And I was telling her that I have a local friend in Camden that... um. I could connect her with and that she just joined a group where the older women all get together and go and have coffee and stuff at this place. And, um, I, she goes, Oh, that would be perfect. But she, she's been, um, like a lot of people concerned about getting out and mingling with everything that's been going on and, you know, it's just been tough. So I just think it's really awesome that we didn't sell the love seat and it brought our paths across. And um, I got a kick out of her and she got a kick out of me. And um, oh, she called me a doll. <laughs> and I told her, I said, it's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. And um, she's so sweet. So. I wanted to hang my wash out and um, she was like, okay. And we were getting ready to say goodbye. And then she kept talking. And then after a while, I was like, 
excuse me, could you hold on a second? And she said, yes. And I said, you know how I told you you like my sister? I said, you really are because my sister does the same thing. We're supposed to be hanging up and you keep talking. And I told Mr. Thumbs Up, because you said that to her? And I said, we're both playful people. So I, I knew I could say that to her. And she understood. And we both laughed. And I said, I will definitely be in touch with you. So she said she wanted to email me. So I told her, she goes, um, I'll give you my, my email address instead of the messages on the next door app. And I was like, I'm ready to go out and hang my watch. I don't have anything to write with, but you can message me on the next door app and give me your email. So I was done hanging my watch and I went inside and I messaged her before she messaged me. And I just <laughs> said, don't forget to give me your email. <laughs> but, um, it's just awesome how God works things out. So, uh, Barbara, you're going to end up with an another new friend in your group that gets together. And she's very outgoing. She loves to talk. She loves to travel and go places. And her and her husband used to ride motorcycles. So it would be really cool if you two have even already met at some point. So I will be talking to you soon. All right, so that's the end of this Tea Tuesday, and um, I have my flavored water, which is lemon powder, and I'm running out of my powdered drinks, so uh, this is an open collab by Kathy's Favorite Things and Life with Patty. Their channel links will be in the description below this video. Just look for the word description, because I've been finding out that not everybody knows what that means when people are talking about it, so I need to make a video. And you can drink whatever you want and share whatever you want on Tea Tuesday. And you just put the Tea Tuesday with a hashtag in front, just like my video here, and then make your video and post it on Tuesday. You can do it every week, every other week, once in a while, whatever. It's open to all, and it's a good way to connect with other people that share in and support the Tea Tuesday. All right, I'm going to end here. And be kind, be nice, be encouraging no matter where you are. We can touch lives, we can make a difference, we can make people smile, laugh, and give encouraging words. Just like what happened with that lady through the internet of the love seat. And she was so wanting it, she wanted to go to the bank and give me money so I wouldn't get rid of it from underneath her. I was like, no, honey, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> okay, keep the fun in all you do. Please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you like my content. And hit the bell so you don't miss any other upcoming videos. You never know what I'll be sharing. I have more unboxings to come up. 